Hey guys, Jim here. So my car stereo is kind of old. It has a CD player, but it can't play MP3 CDs, and it doesn't have an audio input jack. Which means that I can't play music off my phone or my iPad, which would be ideal for nice long road trips, to have a big long playlist. So I got a handy dandy FM transmitter to hook up to my iPad. And after I tried it out, I realized how much this thing sucks. The signal is incredibly weak, the range is very limited, Apparently they make these things really weak because of FCC regulations, but I wasn't even able to use this thing without having static in the background. So I did a little research on Google and I found out how to modify it to boost the signal. So it turns out it's actually pretty easy to modify an FM transmitter. And I already had most of the materials I needed here at home. So all you need is an old phone cord or some speaker wire. Anything with copper wire will really do the trick. A wire cutter or I guess a old pair of scissors if you don't have a wire cutter, a little baby sized screwdriver, and a wire stripper which is totally optional but if you have one you may as well use it. So the only thing I didn't have on hand was a soldering iron and actually those are really useful to keep around the house anyways so I went to my local radio shack and they had an entire soldering kit there for only ten dollars. So here it is, it came with the soldering iron, um, a little clippy thing to hold your wires in place, some solder to get you started, and a cute little metal stand for the soldering iron when it gets hot. It also came with this oddly shaped tool sort of thing here. On the package they refer to it just as a soldering tool, but if you ask me it looks more like a medieval torture device. And I suppose that's why they put the warning on here. The first thing you're going to want to do is use your wire cutter. I opened up my phone cord and I found that it contained a nice thin wire like this. So as you can see, my makeshift antenna is already attached, but I'll show you how I did it. So basically you just open up the battery compartment here. There's one little screw there, and you take that out, and then you can just sort of pop this thing open. So once you open it, you find that this is what it looks like, and you just have to take out this little screw here, which I've already unscrewed, and you can lift this circuit board out. Be careful though, because as you can see, the circuit board is connected to the battery compartment. So now on the reverse side of the circuit board you'll see a few different things. So over here is where the audio cord connects and originally you'll see that there are four cords connecting to the circuit board. You've got a blue one and black one, a yellow one, and a white one. And the blue one is actually the antenna, the original antenna. So you'll either need to unsolder it or use a wire cutter to detach it from the circuit board. And down here there was originally a black box, pretty small, almost like this black box here but I just popped it off with my wire cutter. So the black box that was here actually causes the signal to be weak. So what you want to do is detach the black box and solder a new antenna onto this little place right here so that you get a signal at its full strength going into your antenna. So in order to solder it, what you're going to need to do is take your soldering iron and plug it in but set it up on this nifty little metal stand here so that it's not touching anything while you're waiting for it to heat up. It should take a couple minutes. You're going to want to use a fire resistant surface because this soldering iron gets really freaking hot. So once your soldering iron is nice and hot, so you get your solder which comes in a little coil of metal, very soft, very pliable, and you position it where you want to connect the wire. And then with the other hand, you use the soldering iron to melt it and it forms a little silver droplet sort of and then your wire gets fused to that place on the circuit board. So after you've soldered that one little wire to the circuit board, it's time to reassemble the thing. So you take your cord and you wrap it around. Basically, you just want to make it so that all of the cords go through this little space right here. So as you can see, I've just wound the black cord around here into place so that it doesn't obstruct your view of the LCD screen. And then I sort of tucked these around. And I tucked the blue wire over here because you don't really need the blue wire anymore. It's kind of superfluous, but I like to keep it attached just in case I want to do more modifications in the future. It's going to be there. So all of the wires are coming out through this little place here. And then you just pop the top part back on. Now I know it looks a bit messy right now, but this cord that I added makes a fantastic antenna. Really gives me great reception in the car. So I hope you guys enjoyed that sort of half-assed tutorial on how to modify an FM transmitter. I hope you guys are doing well. Take it easy.